Nevada Fest show, and we will be broadcasting live from Dave and Buster's on Thursday night, August 12th, in Bethesda, Maryland, at the White Flint Mall. Word up, Fezzy, like the music says, word up. The word is Dave and Buster's. Yeah. Uh, uh, we're looking for some people that want to be in a billiard tournament. That's a pool party. Give us a call right now at 866 277 4969 866 277 4969 or you can email us at ron and fez at aol.com ron and fez at aol.com do you ever uh, shoot any billiards at all fez you know i used to a while back and i even had my own stick really yes i was one of those people where i had it in a little uh felt case i had no idea <laughs> and i'm actually sitting here shocked do you think maybe this is the comeback like in that movie with Paul Newman when when him and Tom Cruise are out there. It's the color of money. Yeah, and we'll play Werewolves of London, and you can be, like, running around dancing with your stick. I can't picture you walking in like George Thorogood uh, in the Bad to the Bone video with your l little uh, pull stick in ready to go. Yeah, it was like right after high school when I really started hanging out in bars more. With the bad kids. <laughs> and it was the people that I went to shoot pool with that got me the stick, so I really felt obligated sure. to take it in with me. You were hanging around with the pool boys. <laughs> All right, just give us a call at 866-277-4969, 866 277 4969 or email us at ron at com because we have a trip to give away with that. That's right. It is anywhere Independence Air flies. The so trip for two. You can pick that up. Now, Scott Peterson's lawyer now says that a meth head prostitute who stole checks from Scott's business while working with Asian gangsters may have killed Lacey. Isn't that the way? It's always the meth heads hanging out with the Asian gangsters. All right, well... At least we know what happened, and I feel now she can rest in peace. So who did it? Was it the satanic cult? Could have been. The mistress, Amber Fry? Uh, why not? Or the meth head prostitute who was working with Asian gang? This is called the shotgun defense, Fezzy, where you just, give, you just take the shot, and whatever it hits, it hits. I had no idea that this poor pregnant woman uh, had so many enemies. Yes, she did. She uh, had brought everybody down. We're going to find out it's none of the above. The baby did it. It was Connor. We're going to find that out at the end of the made-for-TV movie. Are you saying inside job? Exactly. Gotcha. Justin Timberlake is threatening to sue Britain's News of the World after they claimed he was unfaithful to his girlfriend, Cameron Diaz, with a model. Yeah, this is a definite lie unless the model happens to be a guy. That's the only <laughs> way I would believe the story. Turns out it was a Playgirl model. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. This is one that he's going to win. Because there's no way he's with another woman. He's already got his beard. You know, it seems like celebrities, when they actually go and take on the tabloids, they yeah. tend to win. Like Tom Cruise with that thing of they needed a sex instructor well, for eyes wide shut. Don't you have to prove some kind of pain from this? What is the pain from somebody saying, hey... He's been with a model. Wouldn't that be considered a nice thing, even if it didn't happen? I think he's probably going to go at the angle that it caused Cameron Diaz pain. Yeah, well, that there is no pain in their world. They're up too far above it. And hearing that your boyfriend is straight, I think, would be a good thing for any girl, particularly Cameron Diaz. Hopefully that'll be their defense when the magazine goes into court. You know what? Here's how I would back it up. By the way, there was a bad nose job on Cameron Diaz. We don't know what happened there, but that thing is not a regular nose. The FDA has approved the use of Botox to stop excessive armpit sweating. Finally. However, side effects include patients beginning to sweat from other parts of their bodies. Well, if your armpits could stay nice and dry, you wouldn't care if your crotch was soaking wet when you were sitting there at a disco. All of a sudden, you get these shots in your pits, and all of a sudden, you're that senator from the X-Men crawling up on the beach, and he just explodes into water. And you got me saying, you, uh, Fez, uh, your calves are just soaked. You better go change your pants. That water, that sweat is going to find a way out one way or another. You clog up the pits, you're probably going to end up with like a blowhole, like a dolphin, and you're just shooting it out your back. Don't some people have like pit operations? I talked to a girl one time who went in and had something done, 
something taken, some kind of sweat gland taken out of her armpits because she was a sweaty mess. Yeah, you just lose the glands. Yeah. All together. Maybe I should look into this because I just sweat profusely. You sweat from the bottom of your feet to the very top of your head. You're sweating now in this freezing cold room. I don't know what it is about me, yeah. but I just, my thermostat is just set way too high inside. <laughs> And I just pour it out everywhere. You know why? You're guilty. You're guilty and you're full of shame and you're worried we're all going to find out exactly what you did. I wish somebody would come and take you away. And I feel like they might. I made a call. Are you trying to make me sweat more? <laughs> I called the NSA earlier today and said Watley's up to something. Do not turn me into those people. I've Again. Seen, I, there is uh, pictures that I have from a party. And uh, somebody was looking at him. This was like years ago. And they go, uh, hey, did Fez dive in the pool? And I go, no, he was dancing. Because you were soaked every inch of your body in this picture. And that is just one dance. That's, you know, five <laughs> minutes on the dance floor to do that. It's not like, was it one of those marathons that he was trying to win with an, uh, against other couples? The first thing I would say to you is stay away from the electric slide. It's just too much for you. Somehow, I, I know the picture you're talking about. I sweated through a necktie. I don't even know how you do that. Well, I think it was all just like up to the top of your neck and then rolling down. And then what will happen is, you know, I'll just sweat. My jeans will shrink on me. And then it's just a whole nother mess from there. I got to take Fez home and dry him off. Just blow dry me before I can get out of my pants. I'm so glad you said dry because I didn't want to have to dump out of anything. And you know the way everything's going right now with the FCC. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Don't turn me into them either. Why don't we start and call them the FCC and then we'll add other other uh, letters to it. Just see where we get in trouble. Sure. Two of the letters we can't say anyway. Yeah. Right. A new report shows that junk food makes up 25% of the U.S. diet. That's a lie, Fezzi. It's got to be a lot more than that. They're lying when they say it's only that little. Actual food makes up 25% <laughs> of the U.S. diet. Everything else is just something really sweet and colored blue. Sounds delicious, though, doesn't it? Oh, man, it sounds good. Why is water such even a turnoff? We have to have some really weird flavors before we can enjoy our beverage. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, nothing Nothing natural seems good anymore. And it's just, you know, a bag of chips is just so much easier to open than actually cook some decent food, I guess. I understand, but can't you have some food with those chips? Maybe that would help you a little bit. With me, it's the snacking waiting for dinner to get ready that seems to sabotage my diet. I'm only hoping that you're sweating so much you can't tear those chips open. We got Big Cigar Sid here, one of the interns. I walked in yesterday. That kid was sitting at my desk drinking probably the largest Slurpee I had ever seen in my life. Were the Guinness people here where he was trying to set a record for world's biggest Slurpee? I know. You came in and you were working at the desk and you started to stick to it. Uh, so the guy's sitting at your desk. He can't even keep the Slurpee in the cup. I did a little detective work, and uh, I was trying to find out why he was at your desk. I heard he was doing an impression. He's sitting there with a big Slurpee, and he's like this. Hello, everyone. Ah, oh, you shut up, Sid. Stay away. J-Dubs, stop banging into me. You're hurting me. And he's doing that impression. So you need you need to cut him off at the knees, Fuzzy. That's supposed to be me? Yeah. Just down in a big Slurpee and being all snotty and snide to everyone. He used the term bitchy. I'm a bitch today. I'm Fuzz Watley. Oh, maybe he'd like to entertain me with this uh, impression of his. Maybe we'll have him do it a little later on in the show. But, Dubs, did you think it was funny or no? I was laughing. Yeah. But I, I was... You also thought it went was, too far. Yeah, I was also saying this is wrong. Yeah, yeah, he went too far. I understand. Yeah, sometimes that's what happens with comedy. Somebody has to be the butt of the joke. And I guess with our intern, it's you, Fez. Well, it shouldn't be. I, I'd like to have a talk later on with Rich Little, or in his case, Rich Gigantic. I heard he was a good one. So you're, Thank you. You're firing back. Oh, I'm ready. <laughs> you're firing across his bow. And he was taking the Slurpee and pouring in his armpits and goes like this. I'm actually sweating <gasps> Slurpee. Like, I sweat so bad that I sweat out frozen drinks. And then he yelled, who's wheezing the juice? And I don't know what that means because I don't I watch a lot of cable. Yeah, I don't even say that. That's not my catchphrase. Well, whatever. The point is, he's doing an act about you, and you got to stop this now. I will nip it. Nip it in the bud, my friend. you got to get the respect back.
Oh, he's going to get it. The only thing is the voice sounds exactly like you. Hello, everybody. I'm in a bitchy mood. I don't hear it. Mm. I don't hear any similarities. I th He's called me on the phone like that. Oh. That said, he's on the list now. There's a list? Yeah, and he's starting it. All right, he just IM me from the other mode is, room. Is that a food list? Oh, that said. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is uh, start one of those uh, Steve Buscemi, Billy Madison <laughs> lists where I'm just writing it in lipstick up on a poster. He just wrote to me, what are you gonna do? Hit me with your purse? You gotta stop this, Fez. It's like when you go into jail. First thing you have to do is pick out the biggest guy and knock him out. Well, he's the biggest guy, all right. No kidding. He's not gonna be able to run from me. It'll be like iRobot, but he's going to be hiding with a thousand Michelin tire men just standing there. <laughs> now I'm doing iRobot callbacks to a stupid movie I hate. We're going to take a break. Back in just a couple moments. It's the Ron Fez Show. <laughs> 